Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good something to all of you. Hope you've had a great spring break. Hope you've had a good spring break. Hope you've had an adequate spring break. Uh, we're going to get back going on the horse today in Algebra 2 trig. We're going to, we did some graphing last week. Um, pretty elementary graphing, and I hope you got it. We did um, sine, cosine, secant, and cosecant. We stayed away from tangent and cotangent uh, for now. Uh, so we did four graphs and we saw we saw words like amplitude and period and phase shift and horizontal shift. And uh, we're going to get back to some more graphing if I ever see you again in class, which I hope to soon. Uh, but for today, we're going to move on to some trig identities. And, and trigonometry has lots and lots of identities that we can work with. Uh, some of them you know. You know Sokatoa. You know Choshakao. Um, but today we're going to get some more. Uh, we're going to get some more things we can work with. And so I'm going to I'm going to put my screen up here so I will no longer be able to see myself. So if you're constantly seeing only part of my body, part of my head, that's just the breaks. Okay, so here's what we have thus far in our in our arsenal. We know sine, cosine, and tangent. Uh, of course, we also know secant, cosecant, and cotangent. We know those are the flips of those three. We're going to get one right now that we probably could have had a while ago. Uh, but we just haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. Watch this. I'm going to put sine over cosine and see what, what happens. Oops. So sine is here. And cosine, of course is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, that doesn't look too great so far, but you know how to work with the division of fractions, maybe a little copy change and flip action. There's copy, change, And flip, and look what awesomeness happens right here. Take a look at this. Goodbye, goodbye. So here's what I've just shown to you. I have shown to you that sine over cosine reduces to opposite over adjacent. But wait, you already know something that's opposite over adjacent. So if tangent equals opposite over adjacent, and so does this, they got to be equal to each other, right? So what we just showed is that tangent, I'm going to write this in red, equals sine over cosine. So there's a new one. It's a, it's a big one. It's a useful one. Uh, it's one we didn't have until now. And of course, it comes with, uh, comes with a stepbrother that uh, cotangent is, of course, the flip. So cotangent is cosine over sine. I'll write that down. Okay, so here's what we have in our arsenal thus far. So Katoa, we know that. We've known that since we were little kids, it seems like. Uh, this, this month, a few weeks ago, we picked up the reciprocals. We picked up uh, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. I'm not going to write those down, but those are just the flips. And now you have this very helpful one right here, and it's flip. Okay, so that's a starting point. That's where we are right now with identities. Let's get some more because these are fun, and we're going to work with them to do some really cool stuff pretty soon. Uh, let's see here. Let me go to a new page. Uh -huh. Remember our unit circle. Uh, the unit circle, we figured out eventually after some, uh, after some thought, we figured out that every point on the unit circle was obviously X comma Y, but the X was the cosine value. And the Y was the sine value. 
So I picked a point on this unit circle, and I'm going to label this triangle with what makes sense. So from here to here is quite obviously the x value. And from here to here is the sine value. And I hope what you see is we have a right triangle brewing that we could use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out something kind of nifty. Except what's the length of the hypotenuse? It's a unit circle, so it's one. All right, so we have a brand new identity that's gonna happen from this picture right here, and it's gonna be the Pythagorean theorem. It's gonna say, where shall I write it? How about here? It's gonna say leg squared plus leg squared, leg squared plus leg squared equals Hypotenuse squared and one squared is one, and we have ourselves a delightful new identity. Delightful. Write that down, memorize it, learn it, put it in your brains. That's a big one for us. Okay, and that came from the unit circle. We're going to get two more, and then I'll cut off this video. Two more from this one. All right, so the one we just got. was from the Pythagorean theorem. Cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. Well, this is an equation. I can do algebra to both sides of an equation if I feel like it, and I feel like it. I feel like dividing both sides by something. I can divide by almost anything I want. Better not divide by zero and things like that, but I'm gonna divide by something that I think you're gonna think is okay. So I will divide each piece of my equation by, let's pick cosine squared, shall we? Okay, thinking, 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 thinking. Cosine squared divided by cosine squared. Anything divided by itself is clearly. Okay, sine squared over cosine squared. We just figured out a minute ago that sine over cosine is tangent. We just figured that out. That was the first thing we did today. Sine over cosine is tangent. Well, I got sine squared over cosine squared. Just picture that like that if you need to. Sine squared over cosine squared. There's a tangent. And there's a tangent. And so clearly this is going to be tangent squared. Okay, well, you know the reciprocal of cosine, at least you should know this, the reciprocal of cosine is secant. Well, I have one over cosine squared, which just really looks like that. So it is secant times secant, which of course is. Woo, <laughs> whoops, almost missed. So there we have another new identity for us, which is delightful. Oh, this one isn't as easy to remember. I mean, sine squared plus cosine squared equals one, this one. That's pretty simple, right? This one is just, it, it, it's a little bit, uh, little bit more to, to remember. You gotta kind of think about it. I choose to not memorize this one. I choose not to. I mean, I think I have it memorized on accident. I didn't mean to, but I choose not to. I choose to remember this one and know that I can easily and quickly get this next one with some simple division. Now, those of you that are quick thinkers might have noticed, hmm, if he divided by cosine squared, maybe he will also divide by sine squared. So let's try this again. Uh, let me get rid of this, bye-bye. No, it's like magic. All right, let us divide by sine squared and see what happens. Okay, 
Uh, first thing we learned today was sine over cosine is tangent, which meant the flip of that, cosine over sine, was cotangent. Well, I got cosine over sine twice. So I have cotangent squared. Okay. Anything divided by itself is. And finally, the reciprocal of sine. Think, think, think. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. I got two of them. And there you have it. So we have a slew of identities at our disposal. Some of them easy to remember. So Katoa, maybe Choshakao. Um, a few others easy to remember. Tangent equals sine over cosine. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. All of those kind of fit in the brain nicely. These last two a little harder to remember, but easy to come up with. Really easy to come up with. We're going to need to know all those because going forward, we're going to use them to do stuff. Fun stuff. Okay, this is how far I wanted to get in the first video. Uh, one thing I should point out while I have this up on the screen is a very, very common mistake. You guys wouldn't make it because you're sharp. But people see something like this. You know what? Let me go back to the easy one. Let's go back to this. People see this equation, cosine squared plus sine squared equals one, and they say, oh, well, I can take the square root of each piece and write this. That's okay. I just took the square root of each piece. You know this is not okay. You know. Watch. Remember this example. This is a true statement. 9 plus 16 equals 25. Very true statement. Let's take the square root piece. This is not a true statement. Do not do bad math things like this. So, this is not true. Nope. I just threw my pen. He's okay. Not true. Do not do that. All right, I just thought of that as I was finishing the video. Wanted to point it out. That's a very common mistake. That people make. Okay, that's all for uh, this round. Uh, we'll be back with some problems. Problems are fun. Uh, in just a few. Bye-bye.